When one of the Pharisees invited Jesus to have dinner with him, he went to the Pharisee's house and reclined at the table. A woman in that town who lived a very sinful life learned that Jesus was eating at the Pharisee's house. So she came there with an alabaster jar of costly perfume. As she stood behind him at his feet weeping, now I would like to stress that she stood behind him. It's very rare to see a picture of this. So this video will be full of the other ones, but she was behind him. She did not feel worthy enough to be in front of him. So she blessed him in this way from behind him. I think that's very special. As she stood behind him at his feet weeping, she began to wet his feet with her tears. Then she wiped them with her hair, kissed them, and poured perfume on them. When the Pharisee, who had invited him, saw this, he said to himself, If this man were a prophet, he would know who is touching him and what kind of woman she is, that she is a sinner. Jesus answered him, Simon, I have something to tell you. Tell me, teacher, he said. Two people owed money to a certain money lender. One owed 500 denarii and the other 50. Neither of them had the money to pay him back, so he forgave the debts of both. Now which of them will love him more? Simon replied, I suppose the one who had the bigger debt forgiven. You have judged correctly, Jesus said. Then he turned toward the woman and said to Simon, Do you see this woman? I came into your house. You did not give me any water for my feet. But she wet my feet with her tears and wiped them with her hair. You did not give me a kiss. But this woman from the time I entered has not stopped kissing my feet. You did not put oil on my head, but she has poured perfume on my feet. Therefore I tell you, her many sins have been forgiven, as her great love has shown. But whoever has been forgiven little, loves little. Then Jesus said to her, Your sins are forgiven. Your faith has saved you. Go in peace. I just wanted to say, that what struck me is that woman was in the room with all those people dining with Jesus and they were influential. They were the leaders and she's the only person in that room besides Jesus who knew who she was and acted accordingly.